showing you how I use my hair prongs to style my hair. These are my three everyday casual hair prongs that I use. I have hair sticks that are fancier and I'll make a separate video on those but I'm gonna start by showing you the casual everyday hair prongs and how I use them to style my hair. We're gonna begin with the wooden three tooth hair prong and I'm just gonna start doing a low ponytail as if I were doing a low ponytail. Remember you could do it high or halfway going down your head. It's up to you. I'm making mine slow and I'm going to begin twisting towards the side. Any side you choose is fine. So I'm just twisting my hair and rotating it around creating a hair bun. And once I create a complete circle, I'm going to get my hair prong and I'm going to stick it on the side of my twisted hair, making sure to get some of that hair that's closest to my scalp. And then just placing it going in half ways. Now I'm gonna begin twisting the rest of my hair around, going towards the same direction I originally was going. So I'm twisting my hair and going around under the teeth of the hair prong and under the base as well. I'm just gonna continue twisting till I have the little end of my hair and I'm just gonna tuck it in. You can definitely place a bobby pin. I don't usually do it and it still stays in place the whole day, but it'll depend on how heavy your hair is. And there you have the final result. Now we're going to be using the double tooth hair prong. This one's also made out of wood. The wood ones are my favorite ones. Again, I'm going to go low with this one. You can remember go any height you'd like. So I'm going to begin doing the same thing. This is just going to be a regular bun. So I'm just twisting my hair going around forming that hair bun. As I'm getting towards the tip of my hair, I'm just gonna tuck it in. And this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm gonna get one of those rounds and I'm going to spread it out going sideways. And now I'm gonna get my hair prong, stick it in towards one side, making sure again to get some of that hair that's closest to my scalp and just tuck it in. And this is actually my favorite one to do. This is the one I do the most. And there you have the final result. Now the last one is the metal double tooth prong. So I'm starting this one as if I was making a ponytail and not a low ponytail. You can also do it low. I'm going on this one a little bit different. I'm gonna place my hand under and I'm gonna loop some hair to the side and whatever's left over, I'm gonna begin twisting it and rotating it round, creating that bun. Again, once I get towards the tip of my hair, I'm just gonna tuck it in under. You can also use bobby pins, remember? Now I'm gonna get the loop and I'm gonna stuff the bun in between the loop. Now I'm gonna get my hair prong and I'm just gonna place it going in sideways. Again, making sure to get some of that hair closest to my scalp. And there you have it, it's nice and tight. If you wanted to, you can also place your hair prong going a different direction. So here I'm just going to show you, I'm going to place it from the top going towards the bottom. It's just up to you however you're going to want to place it. I like placing mine's going sideways, but this is nice as well. So that's how you can use these hair prongs. They're just so 
easy to use for your everyday use and when you whenever you bun your hair like this it lasts all day long but it also will depend on how tight you bun your hair around but i've used these the entire day and the bun still feels tight when i get home at night so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are interested in buying these just go on ebay and look under hair prong or hair fork thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time